Double O Outdoors. We're on our way to the Markham Ranch. We got Casey driving the Ram Longhorn. I'm not sure that's a good idea, but we're gonna let him do it. Got the bow set up today, and now he has to be in the stand. So I don't know, hope things turn out okay. I'm gonna be scouting from the truck. Casey's gonna be hunting because he's using half of my equipment. So I don't know. I might need. Uh, I need to pull the rifle out or maybe I'll just target practice or play in Lily's blind okay hopefully we got a good update with some big buck down double O outdoors out sign off Casey peace double O outdoors we got a little problem with uh, Casey's undergarments they look a little bit big but uh, I think professional hunters uh, say that it's a well-known fact you're supposed to wear them about six sizes too big if you're going to kill a big buck. I think I lost too much weight in the off-season. <laughs> it's November 25th. At about 3.15 p.m. I just got set up in the stand. Here's the deal. It's about 5.12 p.m. At about 4.15 p.m. I shot a monster bug. Uh, he was at 43 yards. He came in with two does. I was watching one of the does for like 45 minutes and I thought maybe there might be a buck behind and then he stepped out and I hit the grunt like four or five times and the does kind of circled around but then started to go about the shot but I think he will die eventually I'm gonna give him plenty of time we'll see what happens he's a monster just to give you an idea of where he was when I shot him this is the stand he was right there 43 yards Double O Outdoors. It's November 26th, and we are going out to hopefully retrieve Mr. Big. Casey shot yesterday. How you feeling, Case? A little nervous, but trying to stay positive. Did you have good sleep? I was able to get some sleep after some apple pie. Oh, apple pie is uh, definitely. Uh, a, a well-known fact that professional hunters need some apple pie after a kill. So the plan is we're going to go back to the stand that I shot the deer from because I could see him. I watched him for like an hour in the binoculars after I shot him and he bedded down. So the hope is, is we get back to the stand quiet. I get back up in the tree and I know exactly where I need to put the binoculars to see if he's if he died right there in his first bed so that's the plan and why did we wait till uh, first light so that if he jumps up and runs we know where he goes and the wind right 
The yeah, wind was not sucks. good at five this morning, but it's better now. So we won't be blowing our scent all through the prime spot. So hopefully, I, well, as soon as I get up in the stand, I'll be able to see a dead buck laying there. We're and hoping the Yodis didn't get to him. Yeah. That's our biggest concern. But I snuck out of there really quiet last night. I didn't spook him, and I watched him try to get up, and he, he couldn't get up. So hopefully he's dead at 73 yards from the stand. I mark, marked it at on, on X, so I know exactly where he's at, and should be in good shape, I hope. Which buck do we think it is after looking at the pictures last night? Probably the straight eight. Yeah. Straight eight is a buck I have some history with. I shot him last year. I've had three encounters with him this year. Two, there was no shot opportunity. The third one, he snuck up on me, and I never even got to draw the bow on him. But uh, hopefully, it's straight eight or some other nice buck that's down. Who knows? We'll see when we get there. 6.40 a.m. right now. Sun's coming up, so. Double O out. Here we are at the Markham Ranch. Casey going up. Hopefully this is going to be a good ending to this story. And we got a big buck down. He's going up to observe. And then uh, we'll go retrieve him. I don't know if the uh, skinny pants are, are good for this. But uh, Double O Outdoors will get it done. Stay tuned. Alright, it's 7.28 a.m. I just got up in the tree that I shot the deer at last night. And we got a dead deer um, right where he laid. Not pressuring him last night paid off. He looks like he tried to get up and fell back down to the bottom of the ridge. And he's probably 75 yards from the tree right now dead. I can see him through the binoculars. Big rack sticking up. And he's down right there. I can see his body. Might be able to see that white belly in there. That's him. So I'm going to get down and recover him now. Shoulder there, He's Casey. Not far from here. He ran 70 yards and died. Awesome. There he is, right there. How do I zoom in on this? I wouldn't worry about zooming because it's okay. blurry. Got blood trail here, right here. Got blood here. There was some blood, which is good. Look at that rack. So I watched him come through here and he barely even made it across this. He was like super struggling. He might have crossed down further over there. The Yodis did not get him. Awesome. Exactly where I thought. Well, let's see him, Case. Maybe not as big as I thought he was. That's the straight eight. It is? Pretty sure. Yeah. He's nice. He's a four year old. At least. Very nice. There he is. Congratulations, son. Let's go. Got her done. Haven't hunted with the bow in five years. Shot the bow for the first time in a year yesterday. Shot this sucker at 43 yards. Nice. Tell us about all the hard work.